Hello everybody, it is Calculating Genius, and right here I have a calculator, which fits my name quite well. It is a TI-84 Plus Silver Edition, and I recently found out that I could download a whole bunch of games on it. I purchased it from a garage sale for $35, and yes, not the best price I could have gotten it for, but honestly, I don't know why they're selling the Silver Edition specifically online for like $200, and Anyways, I'm going to play some games using Mirage OS. And here's the first game, Doom. Now you might know the game Doom for running on like old hardware and this is kind of old, I guess. But anyways, here is, I'm going to select new game. Okay, let me try to find a person I can shoot. Seriously, how the heck were they able to get like 3D graphics on here? Come on, die! Oh my gosh, this guy won't die. Here we go. And I only have 44 ammo left. I literally used over half my ammo just for killing that one person. Let's see, I think I saw someone over here. Oh yeah, here we go. Come on, don't kill me. Okay, I killed that guy. And let's go over here. Um, uh, uh, crap. Wait, where did that guy go? Did it glitch out or something? Oh, he's behind me and he's shooting me to death. Gosh dang it. Okay, let me kill you. Thank you. Come on, come on. Found another one. I wonder when you actually beat the level. I haven't been able to beat level one yet. And it's on hurt me plenty mode, so like medium, almost hard difficulty. And this game is actually kind of hard. And especially since it's probably running on like a what 15 megahertz processor. I actually got this idea from watching a LGR video on this. He put Doom on a TI-83 calculator. He purchased at a Goodwill, actually. Can, can I shoot you through a wall or something? Oh gosh, he's shooting me. Um, I thought he was behind the wall or something. It, it showed his, like, body through. Wait, they actually put a barrel in the middle of the path. That is weird. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Oh, gosh. I think we have two guys. I think I saw another person. Another. Oh, I'm dead. Well, yeah. So, here's the options. And I, I actually... Ooh, I actually can change, change the difficulty. So, that is like medium difficulty. So, yeah. But anyways, that was Doom. And let's play another game now. So, I got out of this game, and now we have Tetris. Um, one player, because I don't have another calculator. Let's go on level three. Difficulty. Okay, let's put this in the corner. Um, okay. Nine. all the 
block positions that are in like the Game Boy version. I mean, even the Game Boy probably have more powerful hardware than this, but I can tell that this is watered down a little bit. It literally takes up like, I don't know, a few kilobytes, which is actually good because the TI-84 only has like 24 megabytes of RAM or something, and I arched, archived this. Aw, oh, dang it. Yeah, I think I'm going to go down to speed 2. Anyways, let's put this in the corner again. Ooh, yay. Oh dang it, I accidentally pressed clear instead of down, like this button. Okay. Let's, ooh, I can just like place this on the floor. Great. There we go. Let's do this. Hmm. Almost like the game is trying to be a little bit nicer to me. Better than the corner. Ooh. This is awesome. I can just make like a square. Yes, I can put it flat. Awesome. I actually cleared a row. Um, come on. Come on. Damn, I can't find the right position. And I forgot to move the block so that way. Well, whatever. Now we can't clear the bottom section. Never mind. I'll put this here. Let's put this. Okay, I think I can scoop this piece over into here. Yes. Wait. I have to actually put this in the corner. Oh yes, I have an L block. I'm just gonna place it over here. Dang it. I moved it to two places. I didn't want to move it. Put it here. Let's see if I can fill this little gap. Well, now we need another Z shaped block to fill in this and the straight block. I know what I'm doing with this. Are you serious? Now, I can't even clear any of these blocks because uh, the, the block didn't move to the correct position. That's annoying. So unsatisfying when I do that or when I see other people play Tetris and they do that. Especially if it's on like the computer or something because they have no reason to blame the hardware. Because there is like modern versions of versions of Tetris that are actually have some pretty awesome music but it's not as awesome as playing on like the original hardware with well this isn't the original hardware but this is the hardware it was meant for and it has cool tactile buttons and I wasn't able to switch that block because my controller is being stupid I'm looking at the screen of my camera instead of actually playing the game properly because it's one of those LCD screens and if I look at it from the top it fades out I just don't want to turn up the brightness or the contrast because that might hurt, waste my battery okay uh, it's gonna be game over Yep. But anyways, that was Tetris, and I have a couple more games that aren't in that aren't in this um, Mirage OS, but I do have a couple more games. So let's check them out. So actually, here's the app, Puzzle Pack, Puzz Pack, whatever, and it has four games. This game, I don't really actually know how to play. Let's actually press help. In this game, we tried to bash the pairs like two pieces. Uh. Yeah, I think I can do something. Wait, this is this is for like switching, right? 
Okay, I think those two are matched, so they should do something. Those two are also matched. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. What does this do if I press enter? It doesn't do anything if I press enter or second. Maybe it's because they're already matched. Um, um, should I? Oh, that's what it does. But those those two are already matched. Oh, crud. Um, how do I? Oh, I think I'm supposed to somehow match the eggshells. But how do I do that? I didn't have time. Wait, I see another eggshell coming. I think I might be able to match this. Oh dang it. Oh dang it. It disappeared. Why isn't this one disappearing then? Okay, this game is being annoying. I'm going to stop playing it. And next we have Block Dude. This is my favorite game out of them all. Because it's the easiest to play and it's honestly the awesomest. Kind of like Mario. I think I know how to do level one. It's pretty easy. You do this. You go to the door. And there's also passwords for every time you beat a level. And you need to do this. here so you can oh I did it wrong just a sec there I know what I'm supposed to do I'm supposed to put this right here so that way I can get up to get some more blocks no oh dang it well you get the idea this is a pretty cool game but there's still like two more to go so better show you those clear here's the next one puzzle frenzy this is also kind of a weird one no I didn't dang I pressed clear you're supposed to match them somehow um, like get three in a row so you like press second yeah see you're supposed to match three and match the three smiley faces Oh, here we go. Match those. I'm on endless mode, by the way. So it never ends, I guess. I can't match any of these. What happens if it gets to the end? Literally. Oh, wait. Those are matched. Okay. Okay. Those are matched, too. Um, is there another one of these? No. Um, I actually can't figure out how to do this. Um, I really can't figure out how to do this. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I I can't figure out. Um, uh. Just a sec, I need to enter my initials. Hmm, I can't find these letters. The letters are all on the keyboard and they're in alphabetical order. Probably to make sure it doesn't get banned on any tests, but it's annoying whenever you're trying to type something. Let's just go with A. Fine. Okay. Exit. And this is pegs. Play. It's also game where Oh What am I supposed to do? Oh there we go. Now I can push these together and I push this block in a hole. Then I put this right there. Nice pegging. And this is a level I can't figure out. If I try to go around this way and push the blocks, it does that. If I try to push these, it does that. It forms a solid block that I can't push. Literally, I can't. It's annoying and I don't know how to get past this, so yeah. 
Anyways, this has been Gaming on a TI-84 Plus Silver Edition. And also, if you're wondering why this light is here, it's because if it wasn't here, it would look like this. And honestly, that looks grainy, and this looks like a lot better. So yeah. But those are all the games I have installed. I only have like 24 kilobytes left. Actually, like 2,500 bytes, I think, only of storage left, and I really can't fit much on that. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.